Okay, so you're here because you feel that you have a cell phone problem with your employees. Well, I'm here to tell you that you don't have a cell phone problem. What you have is an organizational problem. And I'm telling you this from many, many years of experience dealing with many, many, many small and mid-sized businesses. So the problem is not the cell phones. The problem is that the definition of information in terms of what the organization is supposed to expect from those specific positions that your employees are working in is not clearly defined and you're not measuring the expectation in terms of numbers. So that's what you need to resolve. It's not the cell phone use that's the problem. And the other thing is, it's very hard to police that. And if you try to police it, you're going to give, uh, you're going to get bad blood from your employees. So unless you have a safety related concern where uh, cell phone use could be potentially harmful to the employee or to someone else that they're beside or to the company, uh, in terms of the a safety hazard situation that they're in, that's a totally different situation that you can sell. But if you don't have a safety related problem or anything like that, then it's not really saleable. It just leaves bad taste in people's mouths. You're not going to get rid of cell phones. You want to make sure that the employee understands what their expectations are during the day. Now, if they're not meeting those expectations as a result of the use of cell phones, well, then you can take them into a, a side room, get your HR to have a conversation with them, and then look to correct that behavior. But we're talking about employee behavior. We're not talking about uh, it being a problem in terms of what the expectations are for the company. I hope that's clear. Again, you're not going to stop cell phone use. There is no real fix for it. You want people to be happy in the environment that they're working in. So don't block it unless, again, there's a safety concern. Make sure that you clearly define what the expectations are on a daily, weekly, monthly basis from your employees. And don't sweat the cell phone use. It's not a problem if you're clearly telling them what the expectations are. So hopefully that explains it. If you have any questions, post your comments down below if you don't agree with me. Post your comment down below. Let's have a conversation. All right. So fun fact. Liquid paper was invented in 1955 by Betty Nesmith Graham. Uh, and she created it to correct typewriter mistakes. That particular company was built up until 1979 and she ended up selling it for 48 million dollars to Gillette Corporation in 1979 with a simple idea of using some sort of paint type chemical to cover up written mistakes. Fun fact for the day. All right so that's all I have for you for this particular segment. If you have any questions post comments down below. Again if you agree disagree Let's have a conversation what you feel uh, uh, should be done about cell phone use. And don't forget to give this uh, video a like if you learned something and you enjoy the video. And don't forget to share, subscribe, and ring the bell for the latest videos coming your way. Until next time, keep raising your profit. <laughs>